Welcome to your Tutor Online video lessons. My name is Joel and today I will teach you how to simplify logarithmic expressions. To think about logarithmic expressions, we just need to think of them as a way to undo variables that are in the exponent spot. Kind of like how we undo uh, a, a variable raised to the second power by applying the square root. Logarithms are especially useful for defining growth and decay problems, which will be the focus of another video. To get started, we want to make sure that we understand the identities and also the properties of logarithms. So I'll define those here. Properties define um, something on one side of the equation that is the same thing as the other. Here, we want to make sure that we know log base b of b to some number is equal to that number. Uh, when the bases are the same, they will cancel out and take the log with it, and we're left with that exponent. Okay, So if we had log base 3 of 3 squared, the log and the 3's will cancel out and leave us with a 2. The same thing happens when we have a base with a log with the same base, and as an exponent the logs and the bases cancel out and we're left with an x. Okay. A couple identities to make sure we know about. Uh, identities are how we identities. Identities is how we get to 0 and also 1. Uh, all we need to know is that the log with a base b of itself is equal to 1 and the log of anything of 1 is equal to 0. Log base anything of 1 is equal to 0. Okay. Now we're ready to get into a couple of examples. When you simplify a logarithm, the trick is to rewrite the number above the base using one of the identities or properties so that you can cancel out the logarithm. We'll go ahead and look at two easy ones, then we'll use um, two complicated ones log base 3 of 9. We're going to want to rewrite the big number as a base 3 with an exponent. So log base 3, how do we rewrite 9 with a base of 3? Well 9 is the same thing as 3 squared. Now we have the same bases and they cancel out. And so log base 3 of 9 is the same thing as 2. Okay, One more easy example log base 4 of 64. Again, we're going to want to rewrite the big number as something else with the same base as we see below. So log base 4, another 4 to the third power. The logs in the 4 cancel out and we're left with 3. See how that works? All we're doing is taking the big number and rewriting it as um, this base to some exponent. If you can figure out that exponent, well then you have your simplification. All right, let's look at two little more involved problems. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Uh, let's look at our little bit more involved problem. We have log base 5 of 1 over 25. Again, we're going to take that whole thing and we're going to rewrite it as 5 to some power. 1 over 25, I know I'm looking for a negative exponent. So go ahead and write in my 5, a negative exponent. Or well, to get to 25, I know it's a 2 negative 2. Cancel these out and we get negative 2. Alright, one more really involved problem and then I think we've covered almost all of the simplification uh, types for logarithms. Alright, log base 3 of 9 times the fourth root of 
negative 1 over 27. Okay, lots of different parts going on with this one, but we're looking for them all to be base 3. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite my log and base, and I can do each part individually. The 9 is the same thing as 3 squared, and I'll go ahead and break this down step by step. 1 over 27 is the same thing as 3 to the negative third. Go ahead and get another simplification step here. Keep everything as base 3's. It's kind of like we're unsimplifying in order to get the same base. Now, a uh, fourth root is a fractional root. And I know we have negative 3 over 4. And now we add our exponents to plus negative 3, 4 log base 3 of 3 to the 5 fourths is our exponent. The logs and the bases cancel out and we're left with our answer 5 fourths. Well thanks for joining me for this lesson. I hope it was helpful for you. Help me help you by leaving comments and asking questions. You can email me joel at yourtutoronline.com and you can go over and like the Facebook page and um, ask your questions and comments and video suggestions there. And if these videos are helpful to you, please share them with your classmates. I'll see you next time. Happy studying.